Hey there, this is Ragnon, and I wanted to record a quick video going over the changes announced by Blizzard today for patch 10.2 for Priest. Uh, before we start looking specifically at the Priest changes for Holy and Disc, uh, some overarching views that Blizzard have as far as healers go um, do need to be addressed. So first of all, they believe that group healing spells have become a little bit too powerful and so they're looking on at nerfing the effectiveness a lot of a lot of these spells across all healers so for example you'll see when we talk about holy how sanctify has been nerfed a little bit um, that is not unique to priest um, just about all the healers have had some reduction in their group healing capability um, so we're all in the same boat with that uh, single target healing has been a concern and people have felt that spot healing has been weaker this tier and so they're looking to ad address that so you'll see some buffs to serenity for example um, as a tool to help push up single target healing health bars uh, they believe that mana needs to be a little bit more of an emphasis of the uh, you know focus of healers and so they're nerfing a lot of the um, mana regeneration abilities and stuff like that they're they're making healers focus a little bit more on mana as a resource um, so expect to see some changes uh, to all healers as far as mana efficiency and the last big thing uh, for healers is raid survivability they believe that the raid has become slightly too sturdy is their wording um, and so things that provide damage reduction cooldowns like barrier and stuff have been reduced a little bit to uh, take a little bit of the power out of that and to, to put an emphasis back on healing. So um, look for that when we start talking about uh, barrier and stuff. All right, let's dive in. Let's take a look at, uh, we'll start with Holy because it's going to be a shorter segment. There's less changes for Holy. First of all, Holy Word Salvation, the cooldown reduction given by your Holy Words is reduced down from 30% down to 15. So we have half as much cooldown reduction on um, salve than we did before, which sounds really bad. But um, when we start taking a look at the tier set, I think uh, you'll see why Blizzard decided to make this change. Um, so hopefully um, the buff that's given by the tier set is enough to warrant this change. but. Um, if not, we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, Sanctify has been nerfed a little bit, so it now instead of healing six allies, it's down to five allies. The healing power of it uh, doesn't look like it's been um, changed, so uh, it's just one less person that it hits. Um, Serenity has been buffed by 200% uh, of your spell power, so it should do a much better job of healing single targets. Should uh, feel a bit more chunky uh, which is awesome and then symbol of hope was changed again in line with how they're trying to reduce the effectiveness of damage reduction abilities symbol of hope being in that category since it gives uh, cooldown reduction to everyone in the raids major defensive ability so previously it restored 60 seconds of that cool whatever their defensive cooldown is uh, now it's down to 40 seconds and instead of regenerating 15% of mana for um, allied healers, it only gives 10%. So a bit of a nerf on both effects of Symbol of Hope, unfortunately. So when you look at Priest, uh, it or Holy Priest, it doesn't look great uh, outside of the Serenity change. But the, I think the saving grace is the tier set. Um, so the, looking at the tier set for Holy, the two-piece makes it so that your holy words both have an effect where it grants uh, renew. So your single target heal, Serenity, applies a 14 second renew to that target, and your Sanctify, your Sanctify applies a five second renew to each of those five allies. Um, and this ties in with the four piece. So now Renew's healing has a chance to cause your next holy word uh, either Sanctify or Serenity, to not consume a charge when cast, and it costs half as much mana. This effect stacks up to two times. So 
whatever this proc chance is, is going to matter a whole lot because that's going to um, affect our ability to get salve back and stuff now that our CDR has been nerfed so much on that. Um, we do gain a bunch of extra renews uh, passively through our talents. For example, anytime your Prayer of Mending bounces, it has a chance to leave behind a renew on the previous target. Um, when you cast Prayer of Healing, it has a chance to um, you know, leave renews on the healed targets. Uh, we have a lot of talents that interact with passive renew application. And then we're also now getting it every time we cast Sanctify. Um, so I, I think that depending on how good this proc chance is, this could be a very powerful effect. Um, you know, at its best, we're going to be like Oprah throwing out, throwing out holy words like candy. It's going to be great. Um, at, at its worst, it's going to, if the proc chance is, is really low, it is going to mean that we have a, uh, longer cooldown on our second and, uh, third salves. Um, so we're going to have to see how that all works. It's really going to depend on the effectiveness of that tier set. Um, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Um, uh, I think it's going to be fine. Um, I, I do think that the tier set is going to be the linchpin on, on the effectiveness of Holy, um, after the changes. Let's take a look at disc. So disc has been awaiting a rework. They announced uh, adjustments to the talents a while back and everybody's been um, hyped up on copium for some disc changes and I think they largely delivered. I'm very excited for a lot of these disc changes. Um, so we'll start off with the exciting news after some of that uh, depressing holy news. Um, exciting news is that they removed Light's Wrath and instead they replaced it with, in my opinion, the coolest ability in the game. This, this is like the animation for this new ability is incredible the effect seems really cool um, it's called ultimate penitence and so it says ascend into the air and unleash a massive barrage of penance bolts um, so you're either healing allies or damaging enemies and so while you're flying in the air while you're ascended you gain a shield for half of your health and you are also unaffected by knockbacks or crowd control effects so this could be a, a nice additional benefit because um, Priest does suffer a bit from that. But uh, imagine, for example, Magmrax, the knockback. Uh, you could use this during the knockback and you're not going to get knocked back. You don't have to rely on Goblin uh, Racial or an Evoker to save you or something like that. Um, so being able to have access to an effect like this is, is great for Priest. Um, I did make a clip from Jack's uh, video earlier today. Um, shout out to Jack. I love your stuff, dude. I've been a fan for a long time. Um, I wanted to show you the spell effect, though, from his video. So uh, it looks like this. You gain these big, gigantic, like, terial style wings, and you fly, and you just start shooting out rapid uh, penances. So really incredible looking spell effect excited to use it um, it is on a big cooldown it's on a four minute cooldown but it does gain cooldown reduction from some of the other talents so uh, there is a follow-up talent uh, that reduces um, cooldown every time you cast a penance it does not apply to these penance actually cast by ultimate penitence um, but your regular penance bolts uh, give it cooldown reduction. And I think Jack was saying it should be around like a two and a half ish minute cooldown uh, when that all is considered. Um, so we'll have to see how much that actually uh, is in regular play. Uh, and then there is also the capstone, which makes it so that when you cast ultimate penitence, you let me find the wording here. Uh, when you cast Ultimate Penitence, you do a big burst of healing on up to 10 allies. And then you apply Atonement at 50% duration to those 10 allies. And so that means that this becomes a really great oh crap button um, that you don't really have to ramp for. You just push it, it gets instant healing, puts Atonement on, and then all those Penance Bolts that you're shooting out are healing those uh, players with Atonement. So very cool effect very cool spell um uh, excited about that uh let's go over some of the more uh, basic changes um 
just looking at the changes to disc as a whole, really it looks like what they're doing is they're trying to reduce button bloat and so they've removed a lot of abilities they've combined a lot of abilities um, they're trying to make it so that your ramp time doesn't take so much setup uh, and so you can get right into healing with atonement and stuff so um, first of all mind blast has undergone a pretty big change and a pretty big role change in your rotation Mind Blast is no longer a, a basic rotational spell. It's now been uh, increased to a longer cooldown, and it, it now fills the role of Schism. Schism has been removed and turned into a talent that um, gives the effect that Schism previously had to Mind Blast. So now it's a talent. It makes it so that uh, mind Blast fractures the enemy's mind, increasing your spell damage to the target by 10% for the duration. So, Mind Blast is now your new Schism, um, and it's been taken out of your basic rotation. So, uh, Also, another combination is uh, Shadow Covenant. So, Shadow Covenant has been changed uh, to a talent now as well. It's not an ability, and it makes it so that... Am I blind? Let's see here shadow there we go shadow covenant is now a um, talent that rolls its effect into your shadow fiend or your mind bender so now when you cast shadow fiend or mind bender it gives you the effect of shadow covenant turns your halo divine star and penance into shadow spells and increases their damage by 25 percent um this is interesting because Shadow Covenant was a 30 second cooldown and now at best it's going to be a one minute cooldown with Mindbender. Um, so we'll have to see how that feels. Um, it is nice that they're reducing button bloat and stuff, but uh, it really does, in my opinion, tilt uh, the choice towards Mindbender um, because, you know, this effect on a three minute cooldown with Shadow Fiend is, I, I don't think it's enough, but. Um, we'll have to see how that is. The but the idea of reducing the button bloat is good, though. Um, penance has been buffed, so penance now deals more damage and more healing. It's been buffed on its spell, spell power multiplier. Inescapable torment um, is an ability that uh, it's like the Shadow Flame Prism legendary from Shadowlands. It makes it so that your uh, your mind bender teleports behind your target and does a bunch of AOE damage whenever you cast either Mind Blast or Shadow Word Death. Um, it has been buffed because uh, it's now had Penance added as an ability that triggers it. Um, and that's because Mind Blast is obviously not a rotational spell anymore. It's been moved to the role of Schism. Um, and so uh, I believe it does still trigger off of Mind Blast, but. Um, adding penance to that is going to be uh, nice for triggering it. Um, atonement is interesting. Atonement has been uh, nerfed slash buffed. Um, so for raid, it's been nerfed. It's down from 40% to 32% healing for the damage that's done. But it's been desynced a little bit. So now when you're not in a raid, its healing is increased by 50% which is awesome. This is something that Disc Priests have been asking for for a long time to separate the effectiveness for Atonement so that you know they can balance it separately for Raid and for Dungeons and stuff. Um, and so this is a step in the direction towards that, which is great. Um, and it's going to make it so that your you know, Atonement healing is, is much more reliable in, in uh, Dungeons, which is awesome. Blaze of Light uh, now affects Smite. Power Word Solace has been removed. It is no longer in the game. And instead, a lot of damage and stuff is being rolled from Mind Blast and from Power Word Solace and stuff. It's being put into Smite and Penance. So Smite and Penance are going to have uh, quite a bit more effectiveness and because those other abilities are now being removed or changed. Dark Indulgence. So this previously was a talent that made it so that your Mind Blast had an extra charge and had a mana cost reduction. Now it makes it so that whenever you cast Mind Blast, 
it has a 100% chance to grant you power of the dark side, which I believe is the ability that turns your penance into dark reprimand, causing it to deal extra damage. Um, so now what's really cool is when you cast Mind Blast, uh, you gain the effect of Schism right away. It turns your penance into dark reprimand, so you get a bunch of extra damage. So a lot of abilities are all being rolled into Mind Blast. Um, which is very cool. Reduces button bloat. A lot less globals you need to spend before you start uh, doing damage to Atonement Heal. Uh, Div Divine Aegis is the passive um, absorption shield talent that um, applies to people based on your critical heals. This has been buffed by a good amount. It was previously 3%. Now it's up to 10%. So um, the, the passive absorption on people is going to be much stronger. Harsh Discipline has been changed, and so now instead of having to stack up the four stacks and stuff like that, and then in raid, you know, being scared to spend it and holding on to it until your your ramp or something because you're worried you're not going to have enough time to build it back up again, now instead it's a passive effect uh, applied by your Power Word Radiance. So it's a two-point uh, talent. At two points, it makes it so that your Radiance has a 60% chance to cause your next penance to have the same effect that it did before to be free and fire three extra bolts um so this is cool in my opinion because it it you know you don't have to stack it up before your ramp and stuff like that but i am worried that since it only has a 60 percent chance you know if you're preparing for a big ramp event in in raid um, and for some reason, it, it does not trigger uh, harsh discipline when you're casting your radiances. Um, that could be a big deal. So um, I, I like the concept of it, but I wish there was a way to make it so that it was tied with radiance and still had, you know, a reliable way to make sure that you guaranteed have it for your ramp. Um, I guess you can just be casting it with your radiances and stuff like that and then once you notice that you've achieved the proc and you have your your harsh discipline then you hold on to it but that kind of has the same problem as it did before um, so we'll have to see how that actually feels with play but that is something on first glance that is a little concerning to me um, Light's Wrath, I mentioned that, has been removed, so no more Light's Wrath. Instead, it's been replaced with that new awesome ability, Ultimate Penitence. Um, powered radio, uh, Power Word Barrier has been nerfed, so instead of providing a 25% damage reduction, it's now going to only provide a 20%. Um, so, a bit, bit of a nerf on that. It's still a, a good raid cooldown, but... Um, less so uh, again powered solace was removed um, let's go ahead and take a look at the tier set so the tier set for discipline is interesting the two piece makes it so that your smite and penance damage is increased by 20 percent so again they're putting more eggs in the basket of those being your primary rotational damage abilities to uh, atonement heal um, so those are those are going to be way beefed up compared to what they are now and then this is the interesting bit smite extends the duration of an active atonement by two seconds so over the past month or two i've been enjoying playing mistweaver and one of the things that i enjoy about mistweaver compared to disc priest uh, in mythic plus especially is that uh, it's so easy to keep up your renewing mists and just by doing your rotation and stuff like that, your rising sun kicks and extend the duration of your renewing mists. And so just by doing your maintenance uh, stuff, when it comes time to heal, you've got your group already set up for success and you can just immediately start dealing damage or vivify cleaving or whatever you need to do to heal up your group. Um, and that's something that I, I um, kind of missed on Priest, uh, on Disc Priest. It has kind of had that um, that niche filled with the tier set having your instant cast radiances. So when you need it, you could cast uh, Radiance instantly. Unfortunately, that's being removed, but I think that this is going to fill a lot of what I enjoy about that Renew extension um, now with Smite extending the duration of an Atonement. 
Now it's just one atonement, unfortunately. It's 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 only going to do one, and I believe it's random. Um, so we'll see how reliable that actually is. But I believe what this is going to result in is is as you're doing your dungeon or something like that, you can have atonement up passively for a lot longer, and you don't have to really worry about you know those radiances and stuff like that. You can just kind of have them already rolling. So we'll have to see how that feels. The four set makes it so that your smite has a hundred percent chance to cast a second time during shadow or uh, shadow covenant. So when you uh, cast your um, mind bender or your shadow fiend, it's going to turn your smite into a shadow smell. It's a shadow spell. It says here that it deals shadow damage, and then also it's going to hit twice, which triggers this extension twice so now every time you smite while you have your shadow covenant rolling from your mind bender or something um every single smite is going to extend an atonement by four seconds um and that also makes it so that smite can fill that role that mind blast previously did for your uh, twilight equilibrium weaving um during your shadow covenant window so uh, pretty cool. Um, I think this is going to be awesome. I'd, I'm more excited about this for Mythic Plus than I am for Raid. Um, the two set especially, but I, I think the four set, the fact that it's causing your smite to you know hit twice um, during your Shadow Covenant is going to be a big buff uh, for your atonement healing and Raid as well. So uh, interesting changes. I'm I'm pretty excited uh, as a whole. I'm I'm hopeful for Holy, uh, and for Disc. I'm really excited to try that new ability, and I think they're going in the right direction for a lot of the changes that they're making. Uh, one last thing, just looking at the tier set just for fun. Tier set appearance is great. I really like it. Um, the these angels on the side with the hood and stuff. Uh, the spell effects on the the particle effects here on the shoulders and head um it looks great so it's very priestly set uh very good appearance i like hoods um it's like hoods uh it's good I'm, I'm excited for it but uh that's gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed if this uh was helpful for you in any way consider liking and subscribing it helps me out a ton and uh, I'm looking to continue to grow the channel. I do produce uh, content for healers regularly, especially for Priest. And if you'd like to catch me live, I do stream on twitch.tv slash Ragnon Gaming. Uh, you can find the link in the description. I stream our Mythic Raids on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from 9 p.m. till 12 a.m. Mountain Time. And I also stream on off nights doing Mythic Plus and various other games. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are looking forward to 10.2 as much as I am, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.